Hello everybody, this is Nikki and we are going to talk about my July curated bead box. Um, things that I made from that. Um, I have a couple of bracelets and a necklace and some earrings. Um, and so let's get started. Uh, let's see. We can start with this bracelet. This is from with the eight of these eight millimeter jade style. Um, they were eight millimeter jade style beads. They're in a teal color. Um, and then we have the jade kind of teal colored faceted beads and this um, we had those flower spacer beads that came this month um, and they were very nice um, and I just made a um, stretch bracelet I haven't cut the, <laughs> the extra ends off of it yet um, but this is nice um, this is kind of the focal of it with the this is a lamp work bead from out of a bead mix from the curated bead box. Um, the second bracelet is with this bird pendant. Um, and I used that as the focal of the bracelet and using some of these six millimeter faceted beads. These um, what are these? These plum, 13 millimeter plum beads, and then a toggle clasp with a little bit of chain for length. And these can be worn together um, and they kind of match. Um, and they go together. And this turned out pretty nice. This, um, I tried not to bend it too much or I felt like it would break, but I got it on there. <laughs> um, and so. That was kind of nice. And then I made a necklace. Um, I closed the necklace with just the lobster clasp, um, just a simple necklace using the, um, the barrel spacers, the, um, the turquoise, um, not turquoise, they were kind of teal faceted beads, the um, plum, 13 millimeter beads and then some longer silver um, spacers that came in a previous I think these came in April curated bead box um, and I made the necklace and there'll be some photos at the end with these on the um, necklace form um, to show what they look like. And then, so this is kind of like a set. Um, I didn't make earrings with this yet, um, but I probably will. Um, then from this month, there was also some turquoise beads in it, gemstone beads, from which I used some other beads from my stash, um, where I had these um, pendants that I had purchased. Um, and they could have been used for a necklace, but I've had two of them. Um, and they went along with these turquoise bead um, gemstones that came in a previous curated bead box. I do not remember what these little red stones were called. Um, and I've had them for over a year. And I think I got them off of eBay. Um, and I think we got them in another, in a, I got them in a different subscription box and then I bought some more. Um, but I've had them for over a year and I was looking for something to use them with. And when I got these um, pendants, I was like, these colors went perfectly. And then I had two bracelets. I made two bracelets with those, um, these red colored stones and the turquoise. And here I used the six millimeter um, turquoise gemstones that came in the June or April bar, um, curated bead box. 
um, with the red stones. And then on this bracelet, I used the four millimeter um, turquoise that came in the July curated bead box with the red stones. So then these could be worn together, kind of like a stacker set of bracelets. Um, and so, and which I think are cute. I like them. Um, not necessarily with this teal, but these two together um, with the earrings. And if I get some more <laughs> turquoise, um, and I'll try to find some more of these stones if I can find what where I ordered them from, then I would make a matching necklace to go with them. Um, but this turned out to be very nice. And at some point you will see these, um, you'll see these pictured on my Instagram. And then at some point you will see these um, in my Etsy shop. I am starting an Etsy shop so that I can attempt to possibly sell these um, and, and then this next stretch bracelet um, is made with some spacer beads from this July curated bead box the ones that um, kind of have like little they have little flowers on them these flat pink beads that I bought in a jewel in a haul from dollarbead.com these are the labradite um style beads that came in this month's um bead box and then these smaller um beads came in this month's bead box these um six millimeter beads these are the um the pink jade gemstone style and the silver jade style um, glass beads and, um, on, and I just made them on a stretch bracelet um, and then yeah so and that's kind of nice and then I just need to cut, cut the extra off for the stretch bracelet so yeah, so that's not too bad there. Getting better at making the stretch bracelets so they don't fall apart. <laughs> All right, next I'm gonna talk about some earrings that I have finished. Um, I went on a few shopping trips to michael's and joann's and bought some beads and also just was playing around in my bead stash um and so made some different earrings these are some neko cats that i bought in, from michael's and then on the bottom here are some um eight millimeter beads that are from curated bead box and they are like red and gold and they match the colors on the Neko cat. And <laughs> we'll switch these out for the next pair. Um, let's see, these are some silver earrings and these are a mix of a lot of things. These have, oh, can you untwist please? Thank you maybe all right so these tubes are from curated bead box um i couldn't tell you which month i just know that that's what they're from <laughs> these um flowers um they're clear with the ab finish they are from a bargain bead box from 2020 april March, April last year sometime. Um, and uh, and I had some extras laying around and I love these leaves. And then these are from June or July curated bead box. Um, they're like leaves or trees at the bottom down here. They're very interesting um, kind of spacer but i just felt like they went 
really nicely and they make a just an interesting dangle earring um, uh, the next thing is from June curated beatbox these are some of those um, green agate beads and then with the silver um, thir uh, what are these like 13 millimeter beads and then some different bead caps on the bottom and the top I ordered some uh, bead caps from Amazon and um, and they're different these are like these on the top look one way and then these on the bottom are a little different um, but it works well together uh, the container that I ordered didn't have always four or six of the same thing so I tried to make them match as much as possible <laughs> um, and then this last set of earrings um, I saw something I wanted to do something different that with these besides just make necklaces with these oval shaped earring um, beads and um, went on Pinterest to try to find something and found some earrings um, tried to make something similar to what I saw on there but not exact um, there's a different colors than what I saw so I have these green um, glass beads on here with some black beads that I found that I had from a bead mix um, and I couldn't tell you which bead mix because I think that maybe that was the Walmart bead mix that I got these black beads from um, and that is um, the most recent collection of earrings and these earrings will be on my Instagram and they will show up on my Etsy shop at some point thank you oh. and one final pair of earrings um, I ordered these <laughs> this is also a conglomeration of ordering of things from the spacer beads at the top and these silver jade style beads are from curated bead box and then these flower beads they are from bargain bead box I think is where I yeah bead box bargain bargain I ordered them in a shopping hall um, and I didn't make a video about the shopping hall I just got my beads and then made the earrings because I thought that the flower these went well together um, yeah and I like them and I thought they were cute um, these I'm keeping for myself you will not see these on my store <laughs> in my Etsy store these are mine for me to keep um, because I like them um, okay but I thought I would share them with you and I really like these beads um, they're really cute they're like um, red with a silver wash they're very nice very light um, and very pretty all right thank you so I just made my very first purchase from Jesse James beads I purchased a bunch of chain reactions um, I was um, so to me they're very similar to those um, strong chain bead things that I get from dollar bead box um, uh, yeah um, but these are very nice but these are just um, a little bit different because they've got the bead and then they've got a whole lot more to the chain on them so there's a there's a place where if you're really careful you can cut and then you can add to it um, but there's like a specific place to cut um, if you're gonna cut 
um, and then you can add to it and they come in gold and silver with different types of stone and the stones are um, you know these look like six millimeter stones um, but they come the, I just got one order this this um, set was eleven dollars for one two three four five um, chains um, and then it was 30% off so um, and so I was just really excited about the 30% off of course um, but well, I've got white a peach a blue a light blue a dark blue and a purple um, and so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those but I'm excited to see what I'm going to do with those